Part 2, The Planet's Information Breakdown. Will there be more than one planet in the solar system with life? And what about temperature changes on the same planet? Here on Cobra TV. So I've been going over the trailers and I noticed something. In this trailer that Sean Murray is playing, we could see him on a planet with life on it. He jumps in his ship and in an uncut video, we see him fly into outer space, fight through some asteroids, get involved in a space fight, and then he enters another planet. This planet is called Solid Prime. Why is this a big deal to me? Because this planet also has life on it. At first glance, it looks like a barren planet, but then there is a tree, although it appears dead. We can also see what looks like big buildings or containers to the right. Here is another picture of a barren planet, which happens to be Solid Prime as well. If that wasn't enough, take a look at this clip of some flying creatures in the background. And then there was life. And here is a good clip of them using a dev tool to look around the planet. I have slowed it down because it is a very fast clip. Take a look at this floating mountain-like structure that has green grass growing on top of it, along with a little tree. Now one of my subscribers asked me if there was going to be different types of topography and temperatures on the same planet. That is a big yes. Here we can see an ice-like planet, and at the top left, Solith Prime. The hot, barren-looking planet must be accurate to the temperature change at the North and South Poles, or in a colder region of the planet. Another subscriber asked if there would be a day and night cycle. Again, here is Solid Prime with an amazing sunset. Notice how dark the surface of the planet is, and that familiar glow we are all used to just before dark. My point is, that 10% number is not as small as we think. This solar system has at the very least two planets with life on it. So my theory is that nearly every solar system will have one planet with life, while some will have more than one. If this game is about exploring, I can't see them making a game where you rarely come across life. So if a solar system has nine planets and one has life on it, then that's good enough for me. Also, he did say scientific accuracy was being replaced by how fun it is to play. Look at these pictures of how close these planets are and tell me if that's something that may bother you or if you're happy about that. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Until next time. Are you